For the past 30 years, astronomers have been using infrared telescopes to track individual stars near Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. But instead of giving us clear answers, these observations have only deepened the mystery. The region around Sagittarius A is packed with millions of stars, forming a dense, chaotic environment with several distinct subregions. One of the most interesting areas is the S star cluster, home to Sagittarius A. Given how densely packed it is, astronomers have long suspected that it should contain multiple binary star systems, pairs of stars orbiting around a shared center of mass. But until now, none have been found this close to the black hole. The only known binaries were much farther away. So why is it so hard to find binary stars in this cluster? It comes down to the extreme conditions near Sagittarius A. The stars in this region orbit the black hole similar to how the Earth orbits the Sun. But there's a major difference. Sagittarius A is 4 million times more massive than the Sun, and the gravitational forces are much stronger. As a result, stars here can reach speeds of several thousand kilometers per second. In such an intense environment, it's tough for binary stars to form or survive. That's what made the recent discovery of the binary system D9 so surprising. Researchers took a fresh approach by analyzing certain dust sources in the S star cluster differently. Normally, astronomers combine multiple observations over a year to enhance the signal of the objects they're studying. But this time, they looked at individual nightly observations instead. The data was noisier, but clear enough to reveal something new, a previously undetected binary star system. This discovery is a big deal because it could finally help explain how stars form in such an extreme environment. The D9 system is likely to merge in the next few decades to millennia, creating a single, slightly more massive star. And that might help solve another mystery. Why the stars in this region appear younger than existing theories predict. Scientists now think some of these young stars may have formed from binary systems that originally formed farther away before migrating towards the black hole. Until now, astronomers have struggled to understand how stars could form so close to Sagittarius A. The black hole's intense gravity should, in theory, prevent the kind of gravitational collapse needed for new stars to take shape. But the discovery of this binary star system suggests a different process might be at work. If more binaries like D9 are found, they could offer crucial insights into star formation near supermassive black holes. This breakthrough also highlights the power of combining old and new observations. Researchers use data from different generations of instruments on the Very Large Telescope showing how archival data and recent findings can work together to uncover new cosmic mysteries. With this discovery, astronomers are one step closer to understanding how stars are born and evolve in one of the most extreme environments in the universe. And with more observations in the future, we may finally get the answers to some of the biggest questions about our galaxy center.